Hi everybody, it's Brad here from Tcon. In our last video, we did an introduction into the launch pad of our solution, as well as one of our work centers, the coder. And now we're gonna take a look at starting production. So let's take a look. So as we looked at last time, we have the, the starting off dashboard of our MES solution. And now we're going to select a new production order. So we're gonna go here to shop floor orders. We have a list of all the production orders and I'm going to select one. Activate it in this case. It's now been activated. And now we're going to start setting up the machine. In this case, I'm gonna click on it. It starts up the setup. And as you can see, we have an intelligent uh, navigation bar, which based on the changing of the machine's status, you can now see it's suggesting as next steps that we select machine settings. So we're gonna click on that. And then we are gonna end up in our tool, production condition monitoring. And here you can see various different parameters of the machines and the setups that we have currently going on. For example, you can see the coding machine, as well as some parameters for minimum, maximum, and current value, as well as target value that we have going on. And let's say for that production order that we just selected, we want to select a suitable reference for production to ensure that we meet certain quality standards. So we're gonna choose reference, click on that, and we'll load. And what you'll see is various different production orders that were completed in the past and how they were evaluated on various different parameters. So you can see, for example, um, this production order, there is a quantity rating, a quality rating, an energy rating, and a material rating, and a accumulated overall rating of that production set. And so if we're looking at all of these, you can see, for example, this one is quite highly ranked. So we're gonna select that as a reference. You can click on it and get more information as well as the various different specific details. And we can choose that as a reference. So let's choose that as a reference. Okay. And I'm going to go back to my work center. So I'm back at my work center. And then the machine operator based on the reference parameters we just chose is going to set up the machine accordingly. And then in the normal case, you would start a production by interface that would change the machine settings here. In our demo system, I'm gonna click on production and we can see now production has started. The navigation menu has changed and then we can move on to the next step. So we're gonna take a look at further details in our next video. Please stay tuned.